so we have just started the winter season for the Oyster Biodiversity Project. So everything we did in the summer, we are now going to repeat again in the winter. Now, unfortunately, the winter tides are really, really early in the morning, like before sunrise. So we actually have to go out and sample in the dark. Now, this is going to be a bit of an experiment, honestly, because we haven't tried going out and sampling in the dark yet. So we have no idea if it's actually going to work. So I thought I'd take you out because it is going to be quite fun trying to figure out if this is possible at all. I'm now going to sort some stuff out and I will see you bright and early in the morning. Well, not bright because it will be before sunrise, but nice and early. Oh, he's there. Huh. Hopefully you move your head aside because the your your torch is too bright. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful day. So we chisel off as much of the oysters as we can because we tend to find a lot of animals living inside like mussels and crabs and snails and things and here at this site there's a lot of uh, big clumps of oysters like this so we got a lot of work to do So now we've done all of that, we will take the buckets and go and dip them. And the sun is finally coming out, so it should start to warm up a little bit because it is absolutely freezing. Whew. Here's all the sediment which we've now got to sieve. Off he goes. Two, three, don't fall. <laughs> Ta da! Okay. I think this is the oldest dam in Hong Kong. Oh, really? Built in the 1880. Around 140 years old.
寫病情較輕，但仍然係一個問題。Hey, so that is the end of the video. Um, right now when I'm recording this, it's actually a couple of months later. You might notice that I uh, look a little bit different. Um, that's because I'm currently stuck in the UK because of a flight ban um, to Hong Kong. So we pretty much continued doing what you saw in the video for the rest of the year, right up until the end of December. And now the rest of my lab are repeating the same thing again for the round two of the winter sampling. Whilst I can't get home, I'm just working on things like um, manuscripts and um, analyzing some of the drone images which we collected earlier last year so trying to make the most of um, being home um, since I can't access my lab or my actual work I have recorded a couple of videos on sort of general things about becoming a marine biologist what you need to study at university what kind of grades you need to get including what grades I got at college which were pretty shocking so yeah I talk about that in a video which I will be posting over the next week or so if you do have any questions on the oyster project working in Hong Kong or just generally being a marine biologist please do let me know and I will see you in the next video bye